All right, let's give this a try. Hello, this video is sponsored by Wondrium. I'm Lawrence Brown and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond. And one of those memos pertains to food. Happy Thanksgiving everyone and welcome to my kitchen. The turkey is in the oven, the cranberry sauce is ready and the green beans have been thrown out because they're awful. All that said, I have been let loose in la kitchen, which is Anglo-French for the kitchen. And so I have two questions for you. Firstly, what's your favourite Thanksgiving food? And number two, do you have the number for my local fire brigade? If so, pop them both in the comments below. And speaking of the number two, anybody that knows me knows that there are two things that they know about me. Number one, Thanksgiving is my favourite American holiday. That autumn slash winter smell, the aroma of freshly cooked food, and Al Roker inexplicably happy on the streets of New York. But the second thing that people, particularly my long-time viewers, know about me is my feeling toward one of America's, not to mention Thanksgiving's, most famous desserts. And that dessert is pecan pie, which I didn't drop in the sink this time. Now, those of you who are aware of my feelings toward this southern dish, keep shtum in the comments because in the last year since I last talked about it, the channel, like me, has doubled in size. And so for newcomers and the fact that unbelievably I've never rated this dessert on the Lorenzo scale, I'll get to that in a bit, I felt that now, today, on Thanksgiving was the perfect time to do that. But before we do, one thing that I've definitely learned while living in the United States is the from what is that? That's an alarm. That's the alarm for the turkey. Everyone, don't worry about that. We'll just switch that off. Be, we'll get to that in a minute. How long we got? To, okay, we'll get through this. Anyway, one thing that I've learned is a lot of food items come from the southern United States and pecan pie is no exception. Now, my British viewers might be thinking, but Lawrence, you live in the north of the United States. How have you tried pecan pie before? Well, like a lot of other southern dishes and just dishes that are from other parts of the United States, pecan pie spread its wings. It's, it's not a bird, but it is Thanksgiving, so the metaphor doesn't work. Anyway, it spread its wings and it flew to other parts of the country. And so I remember experimenting, if that's the right word, with pecan pie a few years ago when I gave up chocolate. And I have to say, when it comes to my sweet tooth, few things at the time rivaled a Cadbury Crunchy. So I was skeptical as to whether I would like the pecan pie and the question now remains, am I still skeptical? Don't worry about any of this. This is, it's mostly CGI. Uh, in a moment, we are going to get to my verdict on the pecan pie. I don't know what we're going to do about this. So very quickly, because we really are running out of time to survive this. I just want to explain my star system. It's much like any other star system, except I don't give out stars. I give out Lorenzo's, which is sort of the Italian form of my name. So what we do, if I like something, it gets closer to five Lorenzos, and if I hate something, it gets close to zero Lorenzo. I don't think we've ever given out zero, maybe a half Lorenzo before for something. And so it's, it's on either side of that scale. So what we're going to do here is rate this out of Lorenzo's. And uh, I don't know if I can use, I should use a fork, although I've lived in America long enough now to know that we can just put that to the side and use our hands. Uh, I might do that. It just looks like it'd be easier to get it out because I don't have anything to put it on. Ordinarily I will. I've broken the crust. Let's try the crust. Maybe that's the manageable part. It's good crust. I like that. Okay, uh, I can't slide it in. I'm still talking about the fork. Yeah. All right, and let's just pull it up. I didn't cut it properly. I tried to, but my cat was distracting me because he was looking at me as if he wanted to eat it himself. Okay, I'm just gonna use my hands. This is really undignified and I wouldn't usually do this, but I'm not a professional. All right, so let's see, let's pull it out. Okay, uh, it wasn't a perfect triangle. It was a bit of a mess, but uh, here we go. So it's a pie, uh, presumably with some sort of you know, corn syrup um, and, you know, potentially honey. I, I don't really know the exact mixture here, but with uh, pecans on the top of it. Of course, there's also the conundrum about how you pronounce pecan. I just settled on pecan. Don't know why, uh, but I think all pronunciations are fine, except pecan. Sounds weird. Oh, and speaking of vocabulary and language, that brings us on to this. 
In past videos, I introduced you to the Great Courses Plus. Well, the team behind those great courses are hard at work creating even better, broader, bigger and more brilliant educational experiences, giving you more reasons to love and pursue learning. Enter Wondrium, where you can find all of the tried and true Great Courses Plus content and more. For instance, have you ever wondered how English took on a life of its own in America? I'm thrilled to recommend Professor Natalie Schilling's English in America, a linguistic history. This course even taught me a lot, like did you know that Noah Webster, the father of American English, wanted to replace the U in soup with a second O? Mind-blowing! Well, Wondrium is where you find the answer to everything you've ever wondered about and some things you never imagined you'd wonder about. Their carefully curated collection of short and long-form videos, tutorials, how-tos, travelogues, documentaries and more is academically comprehensive, thoroughly researched, relentlessly entertaining and presented by engaging experts. Experts. In a nutshell, Wondrium is the place for minds that wonder, and as it happens, they're giving viewers the fantastic offer of a free trial. Show your support for Lost in the Pond by subscribing to Wondrium today. Visit wondrium.com slash lost in the pond right now to begin your free trial. The link is in my description below. All right, let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is on fire, which is appropriate given everything. Mmm. Oh wow, this is even better than anything I've ever had. This is better than any pecan pie I've ever had. But there's the revelation. I love pecan pie. I think it is probably my favorite American dessert, if not favorite American food. It is unbelievable. And truly, I could eat 50 of these a day, right? If I could afford 50 pies and the hospital visits. But the question is, how many Lorenzo's can I give it? Yeah, I know, we'll get there. Um, this, for me, Five isn't generous enough. I think, I think I'm gonna to have to break precedent for the first time ever in the history of this channel, in the history of Lorenzo's, and give it 5.1 out of five. I couldn't go higher than that. That would be really silly. This is amazing. I am gonna eat the rest before we take care of that. Before you go though, I do wanna wish you all a fabulous Thanksgiving. This has been a phenomenal year in the history of this channel. Like I said, we have doubled in size and my hope is that we can achieve something similar in the next 365 days, assuming I get out of here alive. That's it for this episode. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me on Twitter at Lost in the Pond US and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that my videos don't get lost in the pond. And a turkey-sized shout out to my patrons who make these videos possible. Without you, none of it would be. If you would like to become a patron of Lost in the Pond, you can do so today at patreon.com slash lostinthepond. Until the next video, goodbye. <laughs>